Hey, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Another video. Another video. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikkel. Subscribe. Like, comment, share. And turn post notifications. And turn the bell. Since I drop in. Upload a video, you're notified. So turn the bell, ding, ding, ding. And if you like this video, then please give that thumbs up, ching. And we'll love to the chosen ones that's out there. I love you all. And hope everyone is having a day of staying strong, regardless of your circumstances. I'm also Having a day of staying strong, regardless of my circumstances. For today's topic, subject, and title is going to be about chosen ones. We are, we are all under some type of life contract. We are being stuck on this matrix. And so chosen ones... We are chosen ones. We are all under some type, some kind, and some form of life contract while being stuck here on this matrix, on this prison planet. Okay, so before reincarnating back down here, because the archons. They are demons, and they work for the Anunnaki. The Archons are the workers for the Anunnaki, and the Archons are demons. So the Archons, they, the Archons gave a shock treatment. <laughs> yes, they gave a shock, they gave shock treatments and those two race on the Maurice I'm trying to find the best way to explain this and put it but yes they gave us before we came back down here they gave a shock treatments and electrocuted us the char treatments it put through electricity in our minds and brains. So the child treatments and the electrocution in our minds and brains, it erased our memories. It erased our memories of our past lives. And it made us forget that we, we went in the, in the afterlife, we went in the light. The Archons, they tricked us into going in the light. And, and they told us that going to the light, that we was reuniting with our dear loved ones, our dear family members that passed on before us. They lied to us and told us that we were reuniting back with them, and and, and that we and that and we are going to heaven. But entering in the light, we are going to heaven and be with Jesus, be with God. And, and they tricked us and told us that in our past lives. We made a lot of mistakes, so we got to go back and fix it, which karma is fake and karma is not true. It doesn't exist. Karma is fake and all made up, but they tricked us, and as soon as we got into the light, we was on a realm of misery and suffering, and then when they wanted to 
reincarnate us back on this earth and bring us back on this matrix. We got shock treatments and electrocuted and it erased our memory of it. So, so that's why we is so that's why we don't remember our past lives because before coming back down here, the evil archons erased it from our memory. So that's why we reincarnated back down here on this earth. That's why we can't remember our past lives our past names and and what we did in our past lives because the evil archons they erased it from our memory and made us forget about it they made us forget it all but in the process of before coming back down here the Anunnaki and the evil, the Anunnaki, and the evil archons, they give everyone a life contract, and everything that's going on in your life. It was already predestined. It was already. predetermined. It was already written out about the kind of life that you was going to live and have down here. So every person that you met that was meant to be, every person that you met has some sort of form or why you are in your situations that you are in. Every experience and every situation that you went through and currently going through now, every person that you met was involved in bringing you to all your circumstances, all your hardships, all your troubles, all your sorrows, all your sadness, all your pain. It was already written out ahead of time in your life contract. And some people have a good life contract. Some people have a okay, decent life contract. And some people have a bad life contract and uh, us chosen ones the archons knew that we were chosen and that and once we came back down here we would try to wake people up the evil archons knew that we would try to wake up people get people spiritual enlightenment they know that we were going to come down here and bring truth, expose this matrix, and try to wake our people. They knew we would try to wake our people from being asleep. They know that they knew that we would try to get people to become awoke and become spiritually aware of what's going on. So because they knew that us chosen ones would try to bring truth and wake up people and, and help people to become more woke, because they knew that that's why they gave us the hardest life contract. And all the people that sleep, now woke, they're brainwashed by the matrix. 
and they're under so much mind control. They're brainwashed by the television. They believe everything they see on the television, on the news. Those people, they gave them okay, decent life contracts. But the, but the people that's evil, but the people they foreseen and knew was going to be evil. All the all the evil bad people that they knew, well, all the bad people that they knew will push bad agendas and evil. They killers, liars, they murderers, and just push bad agendas and keep brainwashing people and they're rapists. All the bad people, all the bad, evil people, they gave them the best and good life contracts. So the people that's not a threat to the system and people that's not a threat to try to crumble and tumble the matrix. That's what they gave all the good and better life contracts to. And the good people that's a threat to their system. The good, nice people that's a threat to making the matrix crumble and tumble. That's what they gave bad and hard life contracts to. So that's why us chosen ones, myself and us chosen ones got all the bad and hard life contracts. And if you are homeless, that's how it was meant to be. That was your life contract. It's already written a life contract to make you have bad luck. Not not find work or get laid off, lose your job, can't find another job, get behind in your bills, get evicted, be homeless in a shelter, or you're a drug addict, alcoholic, and mess your money up. Yeah. If you're a drug addict, alcoholic, mess your money up, not coming into work like you are supposed to, and that made you homeless, that it was already written in your life contract. If you suffer from mental illness, depression, anxiety, stress, have anxiety and panic attacks, and it makes you have a lazy spirit and don't want to get up and work a job and take care of yourself and keep a place. All that was written in your life contract, everything. Be a homeless, being a drug addict, alcoholic, mental illness, depression, stress, anxiety. Having a lazy spirit, don't want to put in a work, don't want to take care of yourself, and being promiscuous, being fast, and sleeping around with a lot of guys or women, being a stripper, a prostitute, all that was pre-written in your life contract, being a murderer, a thief, a rapist, a molester, 
a pedophile. All that stuff was pre-written in your life contract. But us chosen ones, and if you got a bad, a hard life contract, we can't change everything and can make it and just change it and make it all go away. We can't just change it overnight, but we can use our powers of, but we can't use our law of attraction powers and our law of assumption powers to manifest a better life for ourselves. We can do that to try to manifest better things in our life and improve our situations and improve our circumstances. So we can do that to manifest and make our life contract more easy, more better, and put some kind of good in our life contract. We can do that. But besides not doing that, we can't do nothing about it. Because everything is out of our control. And a lot of things in our life, we just can not control. But it's worth trying. Like I say, law of attraction, law of assumption, manifestations, manifesting, visualizations, meditations. It's worth a try. I say anything is worth a try. As the, as the old saying is, it's not going to hurt you if you try. Because I'm like this. I'm either going to make it or die trying. There's no plan B. There's only plan A. I always have that mindset and say that I'm either going to make it or die trying. So doing that, even if it don't totally help your life contract get better and improve, well, at least you tried. At least you tried. You never know. Life is unpredictable. Life is full of surprises. You never know. Things, you never know things can turn around just like that. And things can turn around overnight sometimes with certain with certain things. But like I say, you never know. Doing what I say, it can put some good and better luck in your life contract it can and it may give you some some good luck in your life it can bring some good luck in your life contract so so you can prosper and be more successful live better and take care of yourself more better and with and with more certainty and with more content. And like I say, this is life. Live free and be yourself. This life, it don't take life too serious because because the afterlife is more important. So focus on in the afterlife. Now go on into the light going into the darkness and, and visualizing the place and kind of life that you want to have visualize a place of where you want to be 
And as soon as you go in the darkness and go through the cheese holes, just say, just say, I want to pass all the planes. I, I want to pass all the levels of the astral planes and get to universe B, the real universe, the true universe. Once you pass all the um all the levels of the astral planes, as soon as you get to the last level, once you pass the last level of the astral plane, just visualize the kind of house you want. Visualize how you want your surroundings to look and be. And you're free because in the spiritual realm, everything is done mental. There's no talking. In the, in the spiritual realm, there's no talking. Everything is done mentally with your thoughts. So you just think of something and it pops up. It's there. And you got to work. If you want to work, you can, but you got to work. In the real universe, the free universe, the spiritual realm, you ain't got to work. If you don't want to, all you do is think of your whole life. All you do is think of everything and anything of what you want and you have it. Is yours. It is yours. So that's so think of that because that's the better life. The other life is more important. This life is not important. All the money and material things, the nice cars, nice houses, mansions, all the fancy living and material things in this matrix, this pleasant. This prison planet, this earth, this fake world, this fake imitated world, this and this fake imitation of a universe, this hell, everything here is a temporary, all the money and material things. It's all temporary. It's not permanent. So just strive to strive to stay conscious and keep seeking higher esoteric conscious knowledge and keep seeking higher levels of spiritual enlightenment and keep just trying to wake up people and just try to do all that. So you try to live. A good spiritual life. So in the afterlife, you can be free and get everything that you want. In the real universe, in the spiritual realm, you can have all the money, all the wealth, all the nice cars, all the nice homes, all the mansions. You can have all the money and nice material things that you want to have in the real universe on the spiritual realm. Yeah, but I'm going to say this. Everything was predestined, predetermined, and pre-written out ahead of time. Like I say, if you was going to if you was the chosen one and they gave you a bad and a hard life contract, then during your birth, the evil archons made sure that your stars did not align right. They made sure that you did not have a lot of lucky stars. 
them are shows that give you more bad stars and give you a bad and hard lifeline. Yeah. They make sure of that. Our chosen ones during our birth, they make sure that our star alignment was not right. They make sure that our stars did not line of good and right. They make sure that our stars did not align of right and good. And make sure that our lifeline would be hard with so much struggles, obstacles, roadblocks, and hurdles. A bunch of hurdles. They make sure that we would have a bunch of hurdles that we have to jump over and get over. Let me show that. And all the people that just, they're asleep. They're not woke. They're programmed by the matrix under mind control and want to stay asleep. And, and the evil bad people that do. Evil bad people that work for Evil bad people that do evil deeds for the Archons and the Anunnaki and push bad agendas and hurt people and sacrifice people and, and cast spells and, and put curses on people. Also, they can get money, be successful, and live a good life. Live, live the life of Raleigh. Live the best life. Also, they can live a good, rich, luxury lifestyle and live a rich, fabulous, fantastic, expensive, luxurious life. All those people, the ones that want to stay asleep. And just dumb down and think stupid and ignorant. They're full of ignorance, got one track minds, and just want to stay asleep and follow behind the in crowd and follow the majority and follow behind the ways of the world. All those people do have their birth. They made their stars align okay and decent. Never perfect, but they made it line up okay and decent. But the evil people that do evil deeds that please them, all for their money, their monetary gain, those were evil, bad people. They made sure that during their birth, their stars aligned a perfect and good. They were sure that their star alignment was just was just right. Just right, good, get more good luck. Things come to them easier. Good things good luck comes to them easier. Things come to them faster. Yeah. Good luck and good things come to them easier and come to them faster because the evil archons made sure they're doing their birth, their star alignment, and their stars aligned are perfect, are perfect and just right. Okay, so of this message, gave some spiritual enlightenment and spiritual knowledge to, I hope this message gave some spiritual enlightenment. And so spiritual knowledge to all the chosen ones that's out there about how everything was predetermined, predestined, and pre-written about your life. Your life was already laid out. 
before you reincarnated and before you was born and came back in this matrix. Everything was already laid out before you came back down here in this matrix. So we had no choice. Everything is out of everything was out of our control and we had no choice or say in anything. You know, to, you know, to us chosen ones, they give us everything bad. They, they must be born into a family with a cursed bloodline. Us chosen, us chosen ones, us chosen good ones, they made us be born into, into families with generational curses and a cursed bloodline. Also, our life would be hard, be miserable. Is <laughs> it to put us through life a pure hell and pure misery? Or we're stuck living here on this matrix. Okay, so I want to let you know it's all chosen ones. Regardless of your life contract, like I say, use your law of attraction powers and your law of assumption powers, visualizations, and meditations to try to bring some good luck into your life contract and to try to bring. And try and to try with a good luck to yourself to improve your life, your situations, and, and your circumstances. You can do you can do that to try to give yourself a more good and more better life contract, so you, so you can survive more better. And be and be in more peace, more certainty, and more content. A lot of times, it's not about the uh, about the star alignment and our stars and what's in our stars, our lifeline and life contract. All the time, it's not totally about that. It's also about the life choices and the life decisions that. We make. Yes. A lot of times it's about the life choices and the life decisions that we make. And like they say, all the time it's not about the cards that you were dealt, it's how you play those cards. Okay, so chosen ones, take those take those last two things into account. Take those last two statements in account of what I just said. Okay, I, I'm a cow subscribe, like, comment, share, and turn post notifications, and turn the bell so every time I drop and upload a video, you're notified. So turn the bell, ding, ding, and if you like this video. Then please give that thumbs up. Cha ching And I appreciate all the love and support. And I'll see you all in my next video. And enjoy the rest of your day of staying strong. Regardless of your circumstances. I'm also going to enjoy the rest of my day of staying strong. Regardless of my circumstances. Yes, we got to stay strong, no matter what, regardless of our life circumstances. Okay, so I'm going to say one love to all the chosen ones that's out there. Bye, chosen ones. Bye. Bye. One love. One love. I love you all.